Hello to all my friends out there. So I had to restart the video because I couldn't find the bacon grease. Okay, this video is there's only one thing we need to prepare for. What is that? Well, it's depression. If the recession gets really bad, it's a depression. If we're hit with a war, we're gonna be in a depressed state. If we lose our jobs and all of our money, they say a recession is when uh, your neighbor loses his job and a depression is when you lose your job. So the second part is potato scones. Okay, I've been pronouncing it wrong. You know, I'm from America. It's scones, not scones. So, um, I, and I'm water bath canning potatoes. So here I had a few potatoes left, so I thought, perfect. Okay, so uh, I just boiled these. And so you need um, potatoes. Where's my recipe? This is the recipe with the little itty bitty, bitty bitty print, of course. I lost the place. Here it is. Okay, so you need one pound, two cups boiled mashed potatoes, uh, two and a half ounces or two thirds cups. So two thirds cups is six ounces, but they say two and a half ounces. Three tablespoons melted butter or bacon fat. Babies, do you want to go into the other room? That was Shadow. He's usually quiet. And uh, one half teaspoon salt. Okay, so I have potatoes. So I've made sco scones. So I saved my bacon grease. You could use butter, it says. Here it is. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna estimate that I'm gonna need about a tablespoon. So now uh, they're predicting maybe a potato chef shortage in the UK. So we want to learn how to do this stuff or, you know, how to water bath can meat. I'm not saying that's the ideal way to do it, but I think it's a good idea to learn it. So what I bought was some super fine sea salt. I'm gonna take them both out. I think that would be good in this. So I have a little bacon grease in there, some salt. And then you need a uh, flour. I'm going to start out with about a quarter cup. And so I'm going to um, mash this and then add the flour to create like a scone dough. Um, I've been watching some, you know, when you say a word like scone or scone, your phone will uh, feed you video. So it says here, uh, mash the potatoes well and add the melted fat and salt and then add as much flour as the potatoes will take without becoming too dry. This amount varies on the kind of potato used. The floury kind will need less than others. Turn out onto a flour board and roll into uh, one quarter inch thickness. I have a bowl here, but I don't really think I'm gonna need a bowl. We'll see. Maybe I need a bowl. Okay, so let me get my, I like this um, flour. Uh, this is Levi flour. I get it at 99 cent only. So let me start out with a quarter, quarter cup. Well, it's not quite, but So it's like a potato cake. So see how it's already forming into a nice little uh, bowl ball? I think that looks good. Okay, so now I have some corn oil. That time for me, uh, corn oil is up to $11 and something cents. Okay. So maybe I will use my board. Let's see. I 
uh, cut into circles and then pulse or quarters and prick all over with a fork and cook either on a fairly hot griddle, turning once or heavy pan. If using the latter, it should be wiped over with grease paper, makes approximately three large cakes, serve with butter, honey, or syrup. So if you if you can your if you can your uh, your potatoes, you're gonna be able to make mashed potatoes, you're gonna be able to make scones, you're gonna be able to make potato salad. So here's my nice little, see my dough? You can use butter. Okay, let me, owie. Let me take off my rings. Okay. Now, what I do with my spatula? So, okay, so let's start thinking about a depression real quick. So, uh, you know, during the depression, what did they have shortage of? Meat, sugar, and now they're reporting uh, potatoes. So what we don't want to do is wait around until, uh-oh, no potatoes. I have never heard of, of what is this called? Uh... F A L S F A R falls like F A R L S or quarters. That's in Scotland language. I always mention to you guys that uh, my side came from Switzerland, but the other side was uh, Dutch and Scottish and English. Okay, so let's, here's my, uh, here is my scone. You know, you do have two sides. So now I'm going to prick it with a fork. And I have this little thing to cut it in four pieces. So, uh, you don't, you don't, so I saved my bacon grease and I'm going to re, uh, I'm going to re freeze it. And then you can eat it with, um, honey or I didn't take it out, but butter and jam would be good too. Just like a regular scone. So here I have some strawberry. Notice how my strawberry jam that I canned is almost done. So, uh, depression, nothing. That's for somebody else. That's for people who are resistant to preparation. <laughs> So, um, I don't really uh, prefer to do go back to the old ways, but when there's something that really kind of makes sense, why not? Whoa. Maybe these four pieces just make it easier to flip. You know, they say you should use these uh, plastic spatulas. Oh, this looks good. But it is very hard to flip stuff with them. Oh, look. So the idea I would say to be would be to eat these um, hot. So I found the super uh, fine sea salt. It's kind of like a little pancake. It's kind of like a little scone. They said scone, scone, it means scone. Scotland. 
That's where the Queen Mother passed on. All the people in Scotland were very sad. Not the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth. Queen Mother was Queen Elizabeth's mother. And then, uh, okay, so this looks actually pretty good. You could make, if you use a whole two pounds, it's going to make a lot more. All right, now let me get this out of the way. So I want a little butter. And I think on one I will have my jam, and on one I will have uh, some, uh, so I need some butter. You know, I think about um, some of these people, now this is in America, and they say they don't have much food, but if you have some instant potatoes, uh, you can make this easily. So you want to stock up. Go to Walmart and get the dollar box of potatoes and save your bacon grease and hopefully you have some salt. Uh, the, the flour is, I mean the butter is expensive now, five dollars. And so one of the things I stockpiled, these are pretty nice you guys. I got these cheap, I got one today. This is, I, this, I got this uh, marked down. It's some meat and cheese. So, uh, let's see, I'll start with half of it. I could eat this uh, on crackers, but what I like to do is I just like to put my meat on the cheese and eat that. So, we'll have one with honey. These look pretty bit. These look pretty good. If I was making them, uh, I would uh, make. If you know, if I was boiling my potatoes just to make these, I would make a lot more. I'll tell you what's good is this jam. Uh, you know, you can if you don't want a water bath can, you can just make refrigerator jam. So here is what I'm eating. This will do. Let me taste one. These would be pretty darn good with eggs, too. Okay, this was well worth the 25 cents I paid for the cookbook. <laughs> that is so good. One uh, the minute I saw a scone, I go, that's the recipe for me by Jove. Now, this was the recipe that has the little bitty print, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. You can also add cheese to this. You can take a screenshot. Let me give you a shot of the front of the book. This book is old. Uh, it was 1970, so that's 30, 50, 52 years. It was, it was kind of dusty, but I knocked it off. And then the other Lunchables are good are these. So I bought this for 99 cents, and you get the meat and the cheese and the crackers. I've been eating uh, meat and cheese instead of cereal, but I do like to eat cereal. And this comes with one of these, if you like these. And so this is the tea. And what I like is this mint tea. I got it 99 cent only. And it's really nice. What I like about it is it's a clear tea. Oh, it's hot. Uh, today at six o'clock, it was 95 here. It's still hot. This is fire weather. Life is full of peril and danger. So, okay, you guys, try these. You'll like it. One of the things that was so, so bad is like in World War II when they had no oil and fat. You always want to be thinking about that. 
This is one of my nice teapots. These don't match, but uh, they're pretty. Okay, and I dehydrated. This is my basil plant, so I cut most of the leaves off because it was so hot, my plant wilted. And I uh, dehydrated it in the oven at 250 while I was canning. And uh, here is my um, peas. Look at these. This is the worst soil. Look, it's got a, uh, some kind of fungus. I hate this soil. But I managed to sprout three pea plants. Okay, now. Now, now, now. Okay, today. So, b during the Depression, we're thinking about not enough meat, sugar, and they're reporting potato shortages. So once you learn some of this stuff, you're in a lot less danger of, of going without uh, potatoes. So today I canned, I water bath canned, I think it's about seven potatoes, and I water bath canned it for um, two hours, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. And then I, le I just left it um, covered. So I put two videos for you guys to see on my uh, Insta, on my Twitter. Go Rhoda Stone Twitter. Let me take these out. So today, I didn't really want to do this, but I said I am. My common sense tells me to do this. So, oh, they turned out pretty good because you know I had the smaller bottles, and I was worried two hours was too much, but. I can meet for uh, an hour and a half, but you know, they said two hours. And one was this Amish contraption. Okay, you know damn well, back in the olden days, uh, they did not do anything but water bath canning. So now if you use new lids, you should have a pretty good seal. I just remembered something I didn't do. I didn't debubble the the jars so they might not be safe. That's very important. So what I will do, I think, is maybe you loosen them and, uh, well, I don't know. I'm going to think about it. You're supposed to go in and make sure you debubble the, the things, and I forgot because, as usual, I was in a hurry. Okay, now. So, um, what I did is I washed and I chopped the potatoes and I put them in the jar for a small jar, one teaspoon of, of salt, a large jar, one tablespoon. And then because of the Amish video, I put one tablespoon vinegar. And then um, I poured hot water into the jars and then I forgot to remove the bubbles. I see some bubbles. So the, the prudent thing to do is to open them and then just put the, them in the refrigerator and eat them down. Um, clean the lids with vinegar. I did that. Place in boiling water and I did two hours and I left. These would have been perfect if I had remembered to de-bubble them. Here it is. And some of the women check the seals, but if I think the danger is when you're reusing your, uh, you're reusing your, um, your jars. So I successfully bottled the meat, and I think these are pretty good. I don't know. I have to think about this situation. 
but they look really good. Let me show you. If I hadn't forgotten to remove the bubbles, it would have been perfect. Look. So now you know in the olden days. Uh, so the comments were good. So now the uh, USDA does not suggest water bath canning uh, potatoes or the uh, meat. But we know a potato shortage is coming. So if you want to, you can buy... Um, you can buy a, a pressure cooker. I don't want to. I'm not going to. I just want to know that in the event that I need potatoes, I can water bath can some. Uh, today, I went to Walmart and I bought uh, Rice Krispies for $1.94. Also, in some parts of the country, they're locking the spam. So what I'm doing is like every day I'm buying like either um, some toilet paper or some, like in the case of Spam, I got these for $1.98 and these don't expire until 2027. So what they're, they're thinking about doing is they're thinking about uh, no longer putting the Best Buy date on. So isn't it better that I know that this does not expire until 2027 if I don't plan on eating it? And I have lots of food, so I don't plan on eating it. Uh, I bought a package of Sure Gel. It's not as expensive as I thought it was. I thought it was a lot more expensive. It was $5.54, so figure about uh, $2.75, and I usually use a half a package, and uh, so I got one of those, because what if, like in the future, you don't have cash, you know, or any money? I've been buying, uh, I bought these at $0.99 cent only, and then Walmart had this uh, face cream, it was regularly, they have a section, $14.97, and I got it for $5. I thought I'll try it because they were out of the, the, the face cream. I usually use oil of Olay for sensitive skin. So what I did is, here is my watch. I successfully got a nice, this was such a horrible watch. And what I did is I asked the guy, can you put this? I like this watch because it's like a Rolex watch band. And this had a terrible watch band. See how this is like a compass? That's why I really love the watch. So I managed to put my watch back together for a few dollars and then I will wear it five years and then I sell them cheap. Okay, so we're thinking about meat. You can buy Spam if you don't want to can meat. If you're confident, you know, that your seals are tight and if, if you bubble your stuff, I think it's okay. Think about the olden days. Meat, sugar, I think we should get big bags and potatoes. Then think about eggs, milk, peanut butter, and canned food. Those are things that might go short. So I have a lot of peanuts in my freezer, and if I make peanut butter out of them, I can get them out of my freezer, so I wanna do that. Crackers, so like, you know, if you were gonna have this, I have crackers in there, I'm probably gonna eat some. Mm. Crackers and cereal. No. Think about an economic depression. Like say if there was a war, like in the Ukraine. A period of sustained long-term downturn in economic activity in one or more economies. Okay, so what we have is we have inflation in food, in gas, in utilities. The utilities are out of this world here. And the interest rate is going up. That lasts more than three years, okay. This has been going on for two years, so. I think in the depression, the worst years were the fourth year. 
So now think about growing food out of the seeds in your food. So I successfully um, sprouted these pea seeds. I'm gonna be growing my food year round. I will show you. Now, uh, the comments were good. Okay, so the comments were really nice. And I can see why people would say you're not supposed to water bath can potatoes and meat. So take a look at the Twitter if you have any interest in doing it or buy a pressure canner. I did buy some, but they weren't to my liking, so I sold them. Now back to this one celery, one carrot, one half tomato and two apples. So what I did is I thought about how about, um, there were some good comments on that. How about uh, pickling my uh, celery and carrots? But how about uh, boiling my celery and carrots and putting a little butter on them? And then with the half a tomato, how about making a little tomato sauce and hopefully you have some uh, pasta. And then with the uh, two um, apples, how about some kind of little apple tart of some, some type? So be thinking about this uh, celery, carrot, tomato, and apples. Okay, um, I always thought of it more like uh, lettuce, carrots, onions. So you have your green vegetable. The green vegetable here would be celery. So, uh, and also think about like when you're, do, you're storing cans, think of, most people don't can uh, celery, but how about celery seed or celery powder? You can get that at Walmart. And you know, canned carrots if you're making lentils and tomatoes would be good in lentils and, and also celery, that's not a bad idea either. So this, just be thinking about the possibilities. And, okay, you guys, thanks for the comments. Uh, also, I don't delete comments. I like the comments. I want to hear what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say. This is what I have to say. So I think you should be able to say what you want to say. So now I have a whole bunch of basil, which I could use in my tomato sauce. I might, I'm not big into canning. I just want to be confident in the event that I wanted to can, I could. Now, in my family, uh, they dehydrated the meat. You know, they hung the meat. So uh, there's that as well. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.